Hi, this is RobinBremer.net is my website and today I want to share with you how we have all power and authority in heavenly places and I kind of, God kind of showed me the scripture a couple weeks ago and he kind of built on it and it got me excited when I began to understand it. Um, I'm going to show you three scriptures today. The first one is uh, Matthew 28:18. it says, And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and in earth. And oftentimes when I don't understand something in scripture, I'll just kind of like have my eyes shut to it and I'll just breeze right over it. And for all these years, I always breezed over the fact that it said, uh, And in heaven. I just said, Okay, I know that I have all authority in heaven and earth because Jesus says, Go therefore. And he always had authority and power in heaven and earth, so now he's giving it to us. But I never saw the heaven part. So when God opened my eyes, that I could see that Jesus had been given all power and authority in heaven and in earth, um, you know, both of them, it was like, wow. Um, now keep in mind, Jesus had all power and authority and dominion because he's God. So he's talking about what he did for us, and he did this for us and gave it to us. So. I said, well, what do you mean we have all power and authority in heaven? Um, so he took me to Ephesians 1, 19, 23, and it says, He raised him up from the dead and seated him at his right hand in heavenly places, far above principalities, powers, mights, and dominions, and every name that's not that, that's named, and so on, and put all things under his feet, and he's the head, and we're the body. Okay, basically, and that's Ephesians 1, 19, 23. Well, he said that all authority and dominion has been given to us all authority in heaven and in earth and he's talking about heavenly places you see authorities principalities dominions strongholds strong men their place of authority and dominion is not the heavenlies although that's where they are right now it's not the heavenlies the only reason that they are in the heavenlies is because they took over man's place of position that God gave us in the universe and that is in heavenly places seated with Jesus so when Jesus died and paid the price for our sin, um, Jesus restored us to the right, that rightful position, uh, seated in heavenlies, given us authority in the heavenlies, all authority in the heavenlies, because the principalities, powers, mights, dominions, and strongmen are not supposed to be there. We're supposed to be there. Now, then he took me to Ephesians 3, 10 through 12, and it says, God who created all things through Jesus Christ to the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God might be made known by the church, by us, that we would make known God's will to principalities, powers, in heavenly places, according to what he accomplished on the cross, the eternal purposes he accomplished in Christ Jesus in whom we have boldness and access with confidence through faith in him. So we have boldness and we wouldn't need access and boldness unless there was some kind of um, friction or competition to be there. And so the principalities, powers and dominions want to stay there, uh, but we have to take authority and dominion and not allow them in the heavenly places because we're to come there boldly and with confidence and we have access to that place because that's our place. So my name is Robin Bremer, .net is the website. Uh, go to my blog, robinbremer.net, uh, to get the scripture outline that goes with today's blog. And remember, every Monday, uh, I'm teaching about angels for probably about four or five more Mondays. Uh, no, maybe even longer than that. And tomorrow, November 9th and November 10th, they are giving away my book free, my Christmas present to you. We're giving it away free on Amazon.com. Uh, uh, as a um, Kindle format on the 9th and 10th. So get your free copy of my book, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times, number one. Bible studies number two and number three are coming out soon. I'll talk to you tomorrow.